Hi, this is Kevin King with Pinehurst Websites, and today I'm going to give you a really quick setup on the Dawn theme, which is one of Shopify's new online store 2.0 themes. I've already installed the theme. I have another tutorial on how to install it, uh, but you simply go to the theme store and click Try Theme, and uh, that'll get you started. So let's go to your admin. This is the Shopify admin. You want to go to Online Store, and you're simply going to go by default to Themes here. I have it as my published theme, so it's the one on top. You can have multiple themes at once, uh, and you can set them up without being the published theme, but this is the one that would be currently displayed to customers. I, I have this one password protected at the time, but um, let's go ahead and set this up. So all we want to do is click on the Customize button, and it's going to have a placeholder in the theme. This is a... Uh, what you see is what you get editor, basically. So this is a placeholder banner right here. I've already created some navigation menus. By default, you're gonna have two navigation menus, home and catalog. And these I created in previous tutorials, which you can check out on creating navigation menus. Uh, I added some products too, and by default, they got, uh, they got brought in. Uh, this is all products brought into a collection. And then everything else is just, uh, template based. So everything on the left hand side are the blocks that make up your page. So all of these pages, all of these uh, over here are individual blocks. And when you click on a block, you can then edit the block. So you can see the announcement bar is right here. Uh, the welcome to our store is right here at the top. So if you want to change the welcome to our store, you click on it here on the left and you simply change that text. And maybe it says free shipping and it could say find out more and you see as I type it's actually changing it here in the preview so I'm gonna put find out more and then uh, I'm just gonna put a link into this you can change the background color as well say I wanted it to be uh, whatever my accent colors are uh, I'll show you how to change those later usually you can change those under theme settings we're not going to get into that right now, but uh, we'll just use it as background one, which is a white background. So we can go and we can change those under theme settings later. I'm going to put a link in there and I'm going to link this free shipping to a page. And this would probably be my free shipping policy. Um, so I would just go to, I don't have a, a page for that, but I'm going to just connect it to the about us page right now. So now you see there's a, an arrow for a link. So when people see this, they can click on it. So let's go down next to the header menu and the header is your logo and your navigation menus and, uh, and a couple other things over here. You can change the background color for the header as well. Uh, if you hit the drop down, you have certain options you can change and you can change these accent colors in your settings as I mentioned. So let's go ahead and put a logo in. So by default, whatever you name your store uh, on your my.shopify.com when you're setting up the store, uh, that's gonna be what's gonna go in here. So if I wanna add a logo, I just uploaded a logo and we'll put that in right here and you just hit sele select on the image uh, I've already got some images uploaded, or I could upload an image, or I could use some of the free images from Shopify. But I'm going to use the image that I uploaded. So I'm just going to select that image, and then I have the option to change the size of the logo. So you watch on the, on the left, the logo gets larger, so now it's larger over here. So you can make it up to as big as this uh, this 150 pixels is what's allowed. So this is the maximum size. You probably don't want to make it too big uh, because see it moves navigation menus to because it's wider. It moves them to the second um, to the second line. So um, you can display. You can decide where you want that to display: top, middle, or left. So you may want it in the middle of the screen. In that case, or top left. Or you above your navigation menus, you may want it top center, um, or you just may want it where it was. Um, so I always like to have it left of the navigation menus, so there's as little scrolling down as possible. So your main menu uh, is uh, 
by default what displays right here, the main menu. And when under your navigation menus, you can add other navigation menus other than your main menu and build them off of that. And then you could change that here. So you could change how your menu is displaying. So if we go down the left, we see we have the image banner. This is really the main thing that's gonna be at the top and center of your page. Let's go ahead and change this real quick. So if we click on the top where it says image banner, it says select image. Like I said, you can use a free image. So if you're in fashion, you may find something that appeals to your fashion sense. If you just wanna get something up really quick and be able to send people to a website, you can use some of these free images. It has recommendations for some categories, but you can also uh, you can also just type something in. I'm gonna just type in kitchen, and then you get some photos that are free photos of a kitchen. So I'm gonna use a kitchen photo, but I'm not gonna use this one because I want something that's clean white, and I've already, but I could use this one uh, from the free images if I didn't have images shot and I just wanted to get started So I'm gonna go pull an image that I already have and I'm gonna use this one right here And then I want to change the text. That's the image banner And it's right here on the upper right once I click on that and we're just going to call this um, We're just gonna put the name of the website And then we're going to put a, we're going to go back over. You can change the size of this to make it small or large or medium or large. Um, you see that gets smaller here. And then when you go back to large, just showing you what some of the buttons do on this. Let's go to the details. And that is this part right here. And we're just going to type a little something in there. So now we have a little something in there. Uh, I didn't select the image when I was uh, when I was in images, so I'll go back to that and just select it real quick. So if we go back to image banner, and I forgot to hit select, so I do have it. I just have to hit select, and I'll just save it, and that should uh, right over. I, I didn't uh, save it when I increased the size of the logo either. So sometimes saving it uh, is a good idea as you go to keep your changes. Uh, this is connected to all items right now. If you wanna change that, just go to button and you could change what your button says. Instead of shop all, it could be learn more or you could have multiple buttons. See how that changes in here. And you may have uh, air filters and then you can have another button so let's make another button is just call it water filters and then you can put a link in there and I don't have a water filters uh, page so I'll just connect it to water filters but I would normally connect it to the water filters collection and with the air filters I would connect it to a collection and I would connect it to air filters so that's how you would do it and then you just save that so now you're starting your page is starting to shape shape up if you want to see your page in a preview full screen you just hit this little button right here so you can see it as mobile you can see it as desktop and you can see it as full screen so that takes away your most of your menus so you can kind of see what your page is starting to look like. So I have a lot of content on this page. I'm gonna get rid of some of it uh, because we're not gonna use it. Uh, these are also nice. If you wanna back up what you've done, you can hit the back arrow and undo the last thing that you did. I'm just gonna go back to my regular uh, preview where I have all my tools. So I'm gonna take out um, this collage, which is down here. Uh, right here. I just don't want that section and I have two ways of doing it. I can just hide it if I want to use it later maybe uh, and that will hide it from my page but I just want to remove it. So I'm going to click I'm going to click on this collage and on the right hand side you'll see this is the collage. They're always titled 
where the section that you're on and just hit remove section and now that is gone and I don't want to show all of these products either but let's go ahead and take out a couple more things multi column I don't want that in either uh, that's this multi column I'm just going to take that out for now so I'm just going to go click on multi column and remove that section and now I just have my footer I have a video I have some featured product and talk about the brand so there might be a section I want to add back in so first let's uh, just do the next part talk about the brand uh, but I would like a picture when I talk about the brand so I would like to use instead of the rich text I'm going to get rid of this and remove that section and then I'm going to go back and add a new section so now I have all these potential sections that I can add and more right here so what I want instead of just text is I want text with image so here's image with text and I want to add this section but I want it to be up top right underneath my main banner so what we're going to do is we're going to take this image with text and we're just going to take this bar and this is how you can move blocks around and really customize your page I don't want it uh, above my image banners I want it just below my image banners and you see that little blue circle that's basically showing you where you are so I want to be in between the featured collection and the image banner so now there I am and I've got this image with text I'm gonna which is over here and I'm gonna select an image and I'm just gonna throw in an image here select that and then I'm going to change the buttons uh, for this image as well so if we go to image with text we've got our image I want to change my text I want to change so I'm going to add some text and I'm a little high I need to be on this image right here and you see I just went up one level to the heading part change that and now it's changed my heading and now I want to change the text below it so I'm going to click back over on the right and copy some of this and put it right here and you could add links into this text as well but we've got a button so we don't really have to have a link uh, we just maybe want to change our button label and then we can put our link in our button so the button label we maybe want to be something like learn more or shop now depending on uh, where we're going to be clicking uh, and we'll just connect this to right now we're just going to connect it to a collection or we'll connect it to all collections um, so next what we want to do is we want to clean up this featured product so maybe I want to have something about 20 by 20 by 1 filters instead of showing all the filters I just want to show 20 by 20 by 1 and I'm going to go ahead and go to this featured collection which is down here on the left and I'm going to change instead of the featured products collection being all I'm going to change that collection just click the button and I'm going to go just 20 by 20 by 1 filters and I'm going to select that and now we're starting to shape up you know our website here so one last thing we have uh, for content is we have a video so what we're going to do is put a little video that tells our customers how to find uh, the right air filter so it's really easy all you want to do is you want to click on your video and then you can make a video and upload it to YouTube and you can just click on that video right click it and it'll give you a video URL so when you click in the video on YouTube uh, you just right click and it's going to say copy video URL so you take that URL and you simply replace this URL and now you've got a YouTube video so I'm going to save this I don't have a heading but if I wanted a heading I could say how to find how to find your right how to find the right filter every time So how do, I think that's two one word or two words I'm not sure but anyway um, and then the, the last thing is it's not displaying anything in there so all I did was I did I did a screenshot of the 
video and I'm just posting that as an image. You could use anything as an image. Of course, you could use a free image or it could be a picture of something else. It could be a picture of this, for instance. But I did shoot a screen uh, shot of the video, so I'm just going to put that in and then I'm going to click select. So now we've got a video on the site. So let's just go ahead and give a preview of the site. Let's look it out on mobile. And you can see it's going to display a little differently on mobile. Our navigation menus are going to display differently. So you don't want too many levels in navigation menus uh, necessarily because it can make it a little more uh, difficult for customers to get through their product quickly. So sometimes it's better to just have a straight drop down navigation where they can get right to where you want them to be. So if we click on the logo, it takes us back to the home page and see everything stacks for mobile and it's looking pretty nice right now. So you get the idea. So what you want to do when you're doing, um, when you're setting up your home page, you want to lay out your brand story and you want to keep it simple, you know, um, get, help people get to where they need to get as quickly as possible. And I think that will help you in design. Uh, you want your message, what your site is about, maybe a little bit about your brand, and um, maybe some featured products and maybe some information that helps customers uh, to find the right product. So then you may want to put some links like your policies and things like that. You would do that down in the footer. Uh, I don't like overloading the home page personally, but it depends on your brand and what you're trying to accomplish. And you may have every product on your front page, but um, I want it to load quickly, so I think usually less content uh, is going to load more quickly. So you can put links in down here, and you can see when I open these up, uh, you have the option to add. Uh, you, you have the option to add menus. Um, you can connect the menu uh, that you want down here, and you can just basically. Do your menus right here. If I want to put the main menu down here, I could have the main menu as well. You see that? And um, then if you want to change uh, any of this information, like your mission statement, you just type in over here. This is what we are about, right? I mean, you can you can basically put whatever you want in this uh, to tell you know, your brand story. So I think. This will get you set up pretty quickly for setting this up. And uh, I have more detailed videos on theme setup. Obviously, there's a lot more to the theme. When you go to any other page, and I'll just do this before we get uh, to future videos, but I'm going to show you, you may want to start setting up things like, um, you know, like uh, product pages, for instance, and or collection pages and you can edit those as well. They work the same way. You click on the section you want to edit and then you can start editing over here. Um, if you want to edit the way something like a collections page is going to display, you click on it on the left and then you can start to edit on the right. So that's basically uh, the way that this customization need uh, works. Uh, but I'll get more into it in future videos on customizing collection pages and product pages and uh, how to use templates to really create um, individual pages where you can say, I want all my air filters to display this way and I want all, all my uh, uh, certain other products I may want to display a different way. I may want water filters to have different information than air filters have on them, for instance. So. You can set that in your theme templates and you can set it by product so that you can display only the information you need for that type of product. Hope this was helpful for you. Please like and subscribe. And uh, if you have any questions on setting up your theme, uh, feel free to leave it in the comments and I will reply as soon as I can. Thanks for tuning in.